And you know, Malcolm, this is very timely because we could be seeing some of that winter weather tomorrow or even this weekend. Right, so we actually have two opportunities to see some snow, probably just a little bit tomorrow, probably more so this weekend, but it just takes a little bit of snow to create a couple of slick spots. We will talk more about that coming up in just a second or two. It is cold outside right now, feeling like winter, 15 degrees right now. That's the current air temperature at the airport, 12 degrees in Beatrice. We have winds out of the north behind a cold front that passed through earlier today, uh, bringing in this Arctic blast. 9 degrees is the current temperature in Columbus, 10 in York, 13 in Grand Island. But when you factor in the wind, now I will say the winds are not too, too strong at this hour, but it's enough to create a wind chill. Uh, wind chills are in the single digits in the capital city, feeling like 4 degrees in Lincoln, 3 in Wahoo, 1 in Columbus. I would not be shocked to see wind chill values drop below uh, 0 degrees in the overnight hours. We could see that on Stormcast, especially in some of our western communities, uh, 5 degrees below 0, perhaps for a feels-like temperature in Grand Island. So definitely bundle up tomorrow morning, 3 degrees in Lincoln. So yeah. It'll definitely feel cold tomorrow morning. As far as actual air temperatures go, 12 degrees is our forecast low in the overnight hours. Clouds will increase, likely past midnight, so it'll be mostly cloudy by morning. Uh, satellite and radar perspective shows mostly clear conditions right now, but there are some clouds off to the south and even a little bit off towards the west if you look closely here, and those will push our way in the overnight hours. Again, after midnight, that's when I'm thinking will be mostly cloudy, waking up to mostly cloudy skies tomorrow morning. After the morning commute, as we head towards lunchtime, that's where we're going to be watching some blues here on Stormcast, uh, moving off to the north and northeast and southeast Nebraska. Computer model guidance this evening has trended to push the snow a little bit farther off to the southeast. I do not think that Lincoln will not see anything. It's possible we may see nothing, uh, but just keep in mind that there may be a light snow shower or two tomorrow. Accumulations do look like there will be very little across southeast Nebraska. Uh, keeping clouds around in through Wednesday evening. In fact, even maybe seeing a couple of breaks in the clouds a little bit farther off towards the west, uh, but keeping things mostly cloudy for the majority of the day. As far as accumulations go, if you are able to see snow, it's looking like it's going to be under an inch. And in fact, I'd argue for most, it'll be under half an inch. There may be a few, a few localized hot spots, uh, maybe above half an inch. But uh, the shaded area is where I'm thinking it's a possibility right now. But I think the best chance is going to be a little bit farther to the south and southeast. Uh, but still a possibility in the capital city, nevertheless. Uh, one thing that makes this forecast a little bit tricky is I do think snow will be falling aloft, but it's got to fall through a dry layer uh, about 5,000 feet in depth. And ultimately, as snow falls through that dry layer, it will moisten the layer, but it's got to do that first before it can reach the surface. So it just depends on where that moistening can take place. So for tomorrow, 28 degrees, plenty of clouds. Just keep in mind that you may come across a light snow shower. Could create a couple of slick spots. Just keep that in mind. But I, our eyes are going to turn to this weekend for our next potential for snow. And I, arguably, I'd say our better chance for snow. This would be late Friday night and into early Saturday. This would be New Year's Eve going into New Year's Day. Stormcast is showing blues across all the state of Nebraska. And here I think we have the chance to see our first plowable snowfall. We're not talking about accumulations right now because we're a little bit uh, far away from the event or too far away from the event to talk about the specifics right now. But uh, keep checking back on the forecast as we will have updates in the days to come. So temperatures start to rebound on Thursday. Mostly clear, 42 degrees. But on New Year's Eve, it looks like temperatures will fall back into the 30s and then that disturbance arrives could drop some snow accumulating snow on New Year's Eve and New Year's or I should say late New Year's Eve and New Year's Day 13 degrees the high temperature on Saturday yeah winter will be back in full force then